Welcome to the Forti Sandbox What's New video. We have some really exciting updates on Forti Sandbox version 5.0 that you won't want to miss. Let's first go through a quick overview of its core purpose and then we'll dive right into the new features. In a nutshell, Forti Sandbox inspects files, websites, and network traffic for suspicious activities. Put it simply, Forti Sandbox fights unknown malware and phishing. Forti Sandbox has been around for over a decade, and in recent years, we've made significant strides with innovating its features, enhancing its speed, and boosting its detection and accuracy capabilities. Continuing with innovation, in version 5.0, we have added three major features, Advanced AI, Universal VM, and SOC Assist. Let me introduce the new Advanced AI and Purpose-Built ML it features an AI engine with regular updates of the AI model that is capable of detecting more file-based threats and keep FortiSandbox current. One of these threats detected by Advanced AI Engine comes in as PDF that contains ransomware notes. What you see in this example is the target user is being asked to pay a ransom via Discord. This threat should be identified so it is properly remediated. The Advanced AI feature is available as an add-on by subscribing to Advanced Sandbox Bundled Subscription, which also includes real-time anti-phishing and IOC enrichment. So this bundle provides a complete solution in protecting against zero-day and sophisticated malware and phishing. The second major feature is the new Universal VM that offers access to multiple VMs with just a single license type. On the VM setting page, you'll have an option from the pop-up right panel to download any of the available VMs from FortiGuard. Then, your VM subscription shall allow you to mix and set any VM clones locally and in the cloud or any OS such as Windows, Linux, or Android. And third major feature is the SOC Assist. Part one of that feature set is the new on-demand submission with improved ease of use and advanced options. You'll be able to do advanced analysis through skipping antivirus scan, recording a video, and performing VM interaction. Part two is the new job detail page, which you'll see at the top of the page, a summarized context of the findings provided by AI. Also, the basic submission information and analysis over time are clearly provided. The behavior tab captures all the collected indicators and details. Those indicators are clickable for further drill down. And the threat intelligence tab is for threat enrichment, IOC table listing, and attack matrix. And part three is the new incident assist page for daily operation of evaluating detected threats like who is being targeted, how is the threat delivered, and what is the nature of the threat. Also, certain actions can be taken to mark the status of the investigation. And lastly, introducing the new connectivity and services widget for a consolidated view of system health of the unit to keep it and monitor if fully operational. Furthermore, there are 50 plus other features. I would invite you to review the release notes. Thanks for watching. I hope you're as excited about these updates as I am. See you in the next one.